Right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun Moon and as well rising, a, a weekly love and relationship tarot reading February 10th to February 16, 2020. And in case you are interested, guys, into a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a, a link to my website from which you can purchase one and as well in the description down below you're going to find a, a link to the other video for you of the week which is business and career so that being said moving to the love and relationship tarot reading here the first card which stands for the topic of your uh, week is going to be the eight of cups followed by the next one which represents the energies that uh, are supporting the topic that is to be the five of wands followed by the next one here which is the guidance and uh, not the guidance excuse me the um challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week that is to be the two of pentacles furthermore what we do have it is the gifts and the blessings um that you can enjoy and you should enjoy for throughout the week that is to be the knight of pentacles uh, afterwards, what we do have it is how people were seeing you, you know, what kind of an impression you are giving into people. That will be uh, the uh, Queen of Pentacles and the final one here, which is uh, the uh, guidance that Taro is offering to you, as I can see in my camera, that is to be the Tree of Wands. Okay, so Pisces, this week will call for you for a, a forgiveness, guys. I mean, instead of looking into the past and what happened back then, you know, and you, how you how it could have been in a different way and so on and so forth. Now, instead, you have to look into the future. Uh, we do have those two cards, energies, first one. Um, and then topic it is the other and i am saying forgiveness because if you are willing to forgive then a you can save deteriorating re relationship you can forge a reconciliation you can make your current relationship to push forward as well because it's all about that it is because the, it is all about the dynamic these energies are going to be very very dynamic one thing comes around the other thing goes around okay and uh, it's literally there these energies are going to put uh, a lot of surprising it's not like events but it's more like a standpoint around you which it's uh, these star points uh, these um surprising points excuse me are going to create a friction in between you and your suitor in between you and your uh, husband or a wife you know or in between you and your person of interest or partner that is and those points of friction are going to release extraordinary amounts of warm energy okay and that warm energy could be used to quench the relationship or it could be used, you know, to feed up your anger, if you will, and your passion and start jumping into arguments, scandals, and etc., etc. And that's why it's very important here to stick to the topic, which is the Eight of Cups. And what does the Eight of Cups say, guys? Well, literally what it says is that, uh, you know, the circumstances are circumstances. The past is the past. You can't fix it. There is no time machine that you can go back and change it in any way so although the current circumstances may not meet you know expectation your expectations may not be as ideal as you want them to be that doesn't mean that a better perspectives cannot emerge from the future and that's why you need or if you want something to happen in between you and your suitor to improve your relationship you know or to go for your ex that is who is recently came back for example you need to be willing for forgiveness you know into my love readings i am um, facing the um argument or kind of like uh, more and more those kind of comments you know well he betrays me or she betrayed me i don't want to have anything to do with with her or with him that's perfectly fine you know then you don't forgive and nothing of that is going to happen uh, you know you're not going to have a brighter future in this relationship but this, but that doesn't mean that you're not going to have a brighter future with someone else and if that's your case you don't want to forgive to these people then these cards point that do not project that person you don't want to forgive into into a new suitor that is to come around here into the gifts and the blessings but we are going to talk about that in a in a minute so just to summarize all that 
get, uh, topic and energies it is all about looking toward the future rather to on the past and do not judge the future by the uh, the success of the future by the failures of the past and if you want that past to be fixed you need to have a, a sense of forgiveness there forgive your husband for the shenanigans he did you know forgive your suitor that does not kind of like made something that you have uh, how can i say it uh, expected expected him to do forgive your partner because for example he doesn't kiss you at the morning and etc etc so next one that we do have here is going to be the uh, challenges that you will have to face throughout the week in terms of love and relationship and that is the two of pentacles card and when we talk about two of pentacles there uh, we are we can relate it to the energy which is the surprising nature of this of this week in terms of love and relationship meaning that you are going to start experiencing kind of like a uh, um, uh, if you will standpoints and emotions that are a bit alien to you i mean up until this point you were pretty much aware what you are experienced toward that person or toward this person or uh, whenever your husband does something you are pretty familiar of what you are to experiences and emotions to that action or uh, that your wife does something and that card here points that you're going to start experiencing different kind of mixed emotions if you will I mean uh, simultaneously you are going to be excited and aggravated simultaneously you are going to be happy and miserable uh, for one or another reason so how you do overcome that particular uh, challenge and especially when it comes to an, an existing relationship because those mixed emotions are going to be provoked by a an actions from your partner that you have not expected okay they're not going to be a big deal though all right so it's not going to be something like your partner cheated on you or uh, that's uh, kind of like missed to uh, missed to take you from uh, from work as he promised or as she promised and etc etc they're going to be kind of like a small and a negligible uh, actions or uh, or a words that he or she is saying but still is going to provoke those mis uh, mixed emotions well you just go by with the flow okay take it as a uh, new varieties that come into relationships that uh, into the relationship or into the interaction with your sweeter that you are yet to experience don't try to fight it okay this card here is only to kind of like we do have a specific word for that but let's say to um, break the strict routine into one relationship and to suffuse the relationship or the interaction with much more doors that are yet to be opened into the future and so we go to uh, the gifts and the blessings for you Pisces now it does depend what your situation is all about so if you are single then as a gift and blessing we do have a person coming around who is quite determined to uh, explore you okay now that card points to that this person it's um, uh, it wants to jump into branches of love all right it just wants to experience something with someone and at that point their eyes are turned towards you okay so um additionally to that these people they don't they don't lie okay they are they're keeping the things quite simple for their for them the kiss principle it is a virtue kiss meaning keep it simple and stupid so if they like you they will say that they like you if they want something they will say it if they don't like something they will say it as well and it's going to be pretty straightforward quite blunt and for that reason it will be quite advisable for you to have that milder nature of a willing to forgiveness because they may some they may say something that they don't find that a big deal but you may find it a big deal okay and uh, for that reason this may create these moments of tension that it, it will depend on how you are to use uh, that warm energy of um however if your case it is that you are in a uh, relationship or you do have an ex that it is uh, walking around especially with the ex situation the knights of pentacles points jumping into the old branches of love so if that ex of yours either a woman or a man it doesn't really matter kind of like uh, had their feelings extinguished back in the days they are now reanimated okay or at least they want to see that person want to see if they still love you and are you willing to give them another shot 
shot. Uh, however, uh, if you are completely, completely seeing, uh, if you are into relationship once again, uh, then that that card points that your partner or your husband or a wife, they want to make the things happen in between you two. They are quite determined to push your marriage or your relationship further. Problem is that they don't want, they don't know how. Probably it is because you are keeping the things way too complicated. Remember that person here or that archetype, they want the things to be very simple. And I mean very, very simple. So next one, it is uh, the how people are uh, looking at you or how what kind of a standpoint, what kind of an impression you're giving into people. Once again, this is the impression that people takes from you and it, it may not correspond to what you truly are and what you are aiming for. So um, it's a bit, uh, not, it's not a very good card in case you are looking for love because the Queen of Pentacles, it is self-absorbed people or a person or at least such a kind of an impression she is leaving into the people around okay and with that being said those who are taking you as a potential suitor moving forward into the future may not have the guts to approach you or they may see that you don't need them in any way so that being said if that's the case if you are completely single and you are not seeing anybody approaching you in any way that is because you are uh, you are presenting yourself as a self-efficient additionally to that uh, this card points that people are gonna take you as a uh, uh, a defender it is uh, the word that I was searching for because they are going to recognize that whatever you have currently either a marriage or relationship regardless of the state of it you are willing to give it a final go it's kind of like that you want to see is it still living or is it not living is there any more potential in it or is there or there isn't any potential in it whatsoever so that will kind of like um give hope to once again your suitor is going to give hope to your ex is going to give hope to your uh, current partner or a husband or a wife that you are not bailing out yet from that endeavor but you may be you know it's just what kind of an impression you are giving into those people and the final card here it is the guidance that Taru is offering to you in terms of a uh, love and relationship and the three of wands in terms of love and relationship, guys, it is all about what you want against what you uh, can get. And you should not go for what you can get if it does not correspond to what you want. Okay, like we said, the past is the past. You may not have what you wanted back in the days, but, you sh but, as, but I'm sure as hell here that you can have it in the future and for that reason you should not settle yourself for less than you think you deserve because the tree of wands points that you are sitting on here well established patterns for yourself i mean you have accomplished things that you can be proud of and they, these things needs to be uh, recognized by those who want to be by your side either husband or a wife you know or a uh, current partner or a, um, a suitor and etc etc so yeah past is in the past and do not buy uh, the uh, future in regards to the past even if you didn't have what you wanted back in the days now moving into the future you, I am as I was sure that you can it is just it all depends on how well you are to present yourself and how well you are to display you know your uh, expectations once again, Knights of Pentacles, he wants, he or she wants the things to be simple, meaning that you got to say everything out. They do not presume, guys. Don't think that this person is going to presume what you want and they're going to do it on their own accord. This ain't happening. You got to say, I want you to kiss me at the morning, for example. I want to be served a dinner, uh, not dinner, but breakfast. At the bed. I want a romantic dinner. Do not presume that that person is going to do it on their own accord. They want to be told what they are to do. So that being said, this was your uh, weekly love and relationship tarot reading, uh, Pisces. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, 
Um, all the everything that you have to do for that is checking out the description down below there you're gonna find a link to my website from which you can purchase a personal reading and in this very same description as well you're going to find a link to your other video which is career and business for that very same week that being said see you around and until then bye